Math 13, 14. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to look at the problem that deals with quadratic functions. We're going to read the problem first, but then I'm going to show you some hints on how to determine whether this particular problem does indeed involve quadratic functions. Let's read the problem together. A developer wants to enclose a rectangular grassy lot that borders a city street for parking. If the developer has 332 feet of fencing and does not fence the side along the street, what is the largest area that can be enclosed? Now notice that we're going to start this problem with the question itself. The question is, what is the largest area that can be enclosed? Because we're trying to find the largest area, and we know that the area here is dealing with a rectangular grassy lot, that means we're looking for something that's going to be rectangular. Let's group. If we do have a rectangle, then the rectangle has two opposite sides that are the same. So these two sides will be the same. And so are these two sides. They're go going to be the same. However, the problem is telling us that one of the sides is going to border a city street for parking. And the developer does not want to fence the side along the street. Let's make this side along the street. You can make any side you want along the street. It's just easier for me on this board to make this side. So this side will not be enclosed. But we do have the other three. I'm going to call this length and I'm going to call this width. If these two opposites are the, are the same, then this is also the length. Now, when we're looking for the largest area, the area of a rectangle is represented by the formula length times the width, okay? We also know the developer has 332 feet of fencing. So if we take the L, this length, plus this width, plus another length, notice we do not want to enclose this side. So three sides together, the sum will be 332. But if these two sides are the same, that I can combine like terms, L plus L is 2L plus W equals to 332. Okay? Going back and looking at the area, notice how the formula for the area of a rectangle is length times width. This is a two-dimensional area. That means that we're going to be dealing with eventually with something that looks like a quadratic function. Now, further looking, notice that we have the first equation here. When we simplify the second one, it looks like this. So we have now a system of two equations. One of the ways to solve systems of two equations is by substitution. So our next step is going to be solving this system by substitution. The reason we want to solve by substitution is because we have only two equations. So we only have two equations. Having these two equations and having three unknowns, we don't know the area, we don't know this length, and we don't know this width. As of right now, we cannot solve it unless we rewrite this by having two equations and two unknowns. So that's our next step, is to use substitution method. Solving by substitution means taking one of the equations and solving for one of the variables. So I'm going to take equation two, and I'm going to solve for either L or W. It really doesn't matter which, which variable you solve for. We're going to solve for W. It's easier to solve for W because the coefficient here is 1. First, I'm going to subtract 2L from both sides. Remember, we're solving for W. 2L minus L, 0L. Hence, we only have W left on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, these two terms are not alike. So I'm going to simply rewrite them. Now notice equation 1 still stayed the way it was. Equation 2 is now rewritten in form of W. But we also know from our diagram, these two L's are the same. The W is our width. So hence this W and this W, they are the same. I'm going to substitute what I know for W, area of a rectangle equals the length times our rewritten W. 
332 minus 2 times L. Now notice we wrote this equation in one variable. We're going to distribute area of a rectangle now equals length times 332, 332L, length times negative 2 length, negative 2L squared. Remember what we talked about. At the very beginning of the problem, I've mentioned that this is a two-dimensional. It's going to be a quadratic function. Now, if we look at what we end up having, we end up having area written as a quadratic function. Now, what do we know about quadratic functions? Well, when we graph quadratic functions, we have either a parabola opening up or a parabola opening down. Parabola opens up when the leading coefficient is greater than zero, and a parabola opening down when the leading coefficient is less than zero. Now remember, if the parabola opens down, the point that we have, the highest point on the graph, becomes the maximum. And if the parabola is opening up, then the point that we have becomes the minimum. But whether it's a maximum or a minimum, it's a point on the graph. So we have to find that point. But first, let's look at our leading coefficient. Our leading coefficient here is a negative 2. This particular number, negative 2, is less than 0. Notice our parabola is going to open down and we have a maximum. Is that what we really wanted to do? Let's go back to the problem. What is the largest area that can be enclosed? We're going to maximize the area. This particular equation, this particular function, is going to allow us to maximize the area. To find maximum area, we need to find the vertex. We need to find that h, k. To find the h, we have to go back to the function and find the b and the a. Remember, h is negative b over 2a. b is 332. a is negative 2. So we have negative 332 that we're going to divide by negative 4. Negative divided by negative is positive. 332 divided by 4. 83. All right. Now notice, what did we find? Well, notice that we found h, but our problem never contained h. We don't have a variable h here. So what did we really find? And many students find this confusing. They can do this, but they don't know what they're looking for. What is h? Well, h was always our x-coordinate of particular parabola. Our h here is indeed the x-coordinate. But our function, notice, is written in L. So our h is really the variable inside the function. We really solved for L. If I substitute L into this particular function, I can find the corresponding area. 332 times the length, and our length was 83. Okay. Going back, minus 2 times length squared. All right, now using our calculators, we can find the area. Remember that our length was 83. So we're going to, okay, so we're going to find the area. 332 times 83 minus 2 times 83 squared. Now, one thing to point out, please make sure that you, when you're multiplying this out, put parentheses around your 83. You want, you want to square your 83 when you click enter. Here's our area. Our area is 13,778 square feet. That means our maximum area is the 13,778 square feet.